So I'm standing here in Craigstead in Brisbane, which is a really slick engine and engineering shop dedicated expressly to the use of supercars. Craig Haystead, the owner, is a, oh, well, he's a supercars engine specialist. In fact, he's an overall supercars technical guru. So over some upcoming instalments, we're gonna really lift the lid on everything Gen 3 supercar. There's been a lot of progress and it's really anticipated due to be completed into next year. And equally as anticipated over my shoulder are the new Gen 3 engines. Now, those four engines you can see there, there's a current Holden engine, a current Ford engine, a new Gen 3 GM engine, and a new Ford Gen 3 engine. And I can assure you, that's the first time anyone ever has seen all four of those lined up together. Is that a tease? Yes, it is. We'll get to more of that later. So this is an impressive facility with impressive tools and equipment, but the elephant in the room right now is sitting up at the head of the queue here. Those two engines, the new Gen 3 engines, which have to be paratised, it's a lot of work. And it's this place here that's been making sure these two engines, the current Ford and Holden engines, are absolutely equal. So I can assure you, we're pretty lucky to be in here. This ain't the domain of cameras in here. Um, pretty special journey we're going to take you on. So as we unravel and learn a little bit more about the process and the detail of this new engine program, we're going to hear from these two guys. Adrian Burgess, the head of motorsport, and Craig Hasted, our supercar engine specialist, who basically between them are charged with the responsibility of delivering these completely different engines with exactly the same outputs. That's a big ask. So, yep, the door's been opened to us. And you know what? We might just get to see one run on the dyno. That would be cool. And just like everything parody in motorsport, I can tell you there's been a lot of pushing and pulling. It's been political, it's been technical. You've got to appease manufacturers. You've got to appease race teams. You've got to appease you, the fans. So, there's been a lot of debate, there's been a lot of heartache, but we're nearly there. But before we get into the new era of engine, I reckon it's really important we recognise and understand where we've come from, how we arrived there, and where we're going. 